just for a quick rundown on my palette, maybe you'd like to copy that or something. Let me just do it real fast. Got soft white, uh, yellow ochre, Indian yellow, deep orange, permanent red, lizard crimson, Prussian blue today. And down here, this is my background colors. I got uh, lizard crimson, violet, and burnt umber. And we've, I've already prepared the canvas a little bit. If you notice here, I put clear on the canvas already, and I made a little, a little sketch here by dipping into the clear with a little lizard. Now I got an idea. Now I'm going to paint the background around that. We got a lot to cover, so let's get it going. This is a bristle brush. It's, uh, it's a background brush, or it says floral brush on it. And uh, I'm going to. I have clear down here, and I'm going to be dipping into this clear on this background. I want a transparent look, so I'm putting plenty of this clear in there. If you notice that. So primarily, let's start with the lizard and uh, the burn umber. I want a dark color down here on the bottom, and of course violet. Lots of paint in the brush so I can get it going. I'm going to load, reload the brush frequently. Variety of colors. I don't have to be exact on my sketch here. I can change it when I paint the flower. But let's get this in here. But notice the uh, transparency of it for the fact that I got clear on. You can see some of the grain of the canvas coming through. So if, occasionally I'll be dipping down in there and making it a little thinner so you can see through it. And also vari variety of colors by reloading ever so often. That's more violet there. Now I got a, I have a painting that I'm looking at. I'm just not going to be exactly the same. And it's nice not to try to copy something exactly the same. It takes a lot longer to copy something exactly. So the basic idea is what I'm trying to get through to you. And speed is, uh, is really what I'm looking for. Only because speed is going to make the, the uh, overall painting have a nice loose feel when you get through. Dip into more clear. And when you come up next to your sketch, you don't have to be exact because we can paint right on top of this. Maybe get a little more burn umber in that on this other side. More burn umber and alizarin. See how much darker it got? And as we get towards the top, I'm going to use a little more alizarin. I'm putting quite a lot of paint on here, though. And we're going to have a little, let's have a little bud right up here. So I'll just make a little circle around it. Now, I did a, 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 a iris before. This one is going to be more, it's going to have more of a, a flare, more uh, petals that are tipped over and more ruffled edges on it. So I'm dipping in the clear every once in a while. Right now I'm kind of omitting the uh, violet. It's more alizarin and just the burn umber. So I want to now I can change the background by coming back and doing the X stroke right over top of it till you until I'm happy with it. Till it looks like it's gonna be okay. Alright, we gotta go in here with something. Alright, our next step. There's a couple different things I could do. I could uh, I could put the grass in or in, in the leaves and, and that first, or I could put the background. It wouldn't matter either way. I'll just do it. I'll put the leaves in first now. We're going to use a, a large leaf brush. I, this, uh, maybe I told you this was Thale Blue. I don't remember, but it's Prussian Blue, just to correct it if I did. And we're going to use Prussian Blue and Yellow Ochre for our uh, leaves. I'm not going to put all the leaves in to begin with but load lots of paint on the brush. 
Now, if you could put the stem in on maybe on the painting I don't have, I have over there, maybe you don't see the stem, but put it in anyway. And just in case it happens to show up. Another thing you could do, you could run it off the canvas. You don't maybe stop one, run it off. Some of the leaves. Look, I'm gonna start way out here. Turn the brush. Or start from the bottom and turn the brush. Or just keep doing them, let them blend into the background. Let's have a couple of them sticking out over here that are behind. And let's put this stem in while we're at it for that bud. And we got a bunch of little leaves in there. Let's uh, let's take the liner brush and let's thin our green down. Go into it like that. I'm going to the edge of this green so I don't destroy all the color because I want to go back in there with my uh, sable brush. Hold the brush straight in. Get back on the brush like that. Hold it straight in. Get relaxed. Have nice flowing movements and just start firing in. This is grass. This not necessarily part, it's not part of the iris, but it's, it makes a nice filler. It makes a total painting. And we'll put some leaves on this, on some of these. Get a little more height up there. The harder you push, the wider the line will be. But everything's coming from out of here, so you make the lines like that. Anything on this side, you lean over this way. Anything up here, void straight lines. Curve them on one way or the other up at the top. And over here, primarily, most of them are headed this way. Keep that basic uh, rule in mind for composition, and it's going to look nice. You've got to think about gravity here when you're, when you're painting on the floral. Let's go back here and fill that in there. All right, now on our... Uh, Base color for a flower. Let's get in that. Uh, we'll have to clean this brush. I'll use the same brush. Let's clean it up. Don't have to be clean because the color's pretty primarily the same colors. We're using a Lizrin. Let's take it over here. Lizrin and yellow ochre. And some soft white. And a little touch of violet. This is violet over here. More soft white. I want kind of a pastel look, so I'll add more white to it. All right, here we go. I'm just going to rough it in. And when I do the final stroke, it's going to change. On this one here, I want the light hitting in here in the middle, so I'm going to get a lot more white with it. Let's start right on it. Let's put it in here first. And I'll go back to the other color. Let's go over here and block this in. Just rough it in. Doesn't look like much yet, but we'll pull it off. This would be the same way on this one here. Let's lighten it up on the front here. And on these ones on the side over here, let's make them just a little bit darker, a little more alizarin. Has to look rough before it's going to look better. Okay, down inside of the flower, let's let's add a little burnt umber to that mixture, make it a little darker. Let's go down inside the flower. Maybe a little more alizarin in that too. So alizarin and burnt umber down inside. Got to have that to show depth in your flower. As the petal goes around, maybe you put a little there. And uh, that's good enough for that one. Let's go over this one on the left here. And put the dark in there. Let's 
and maybe around the edge of it a little bit. Now we'll create some miracles here in a little bit. We got to do our little bud up there. We're going to have some green around that. So I'm going to do that while we're at it. Let's, uh, let's curve this around like this. It's almost starting to open. Right underneath that here, maybe this is going to show. Put some dried leaves right there. Okay, well, as long as we got this brush in our hand, let's take a little bit more blue and let's do some of the uh, outside leaves. Now, this is a little flippity dip leaf. You just watch me do it and I'll finally tell you how to, how, what I was doing. Get you some good music on and start painting with strokes matching the music. You'd be surprised how nice they'll flow. Now, uh, this is a a bearded iris, and it's named after Iris. That's a Greek goddess of the rainbow. Okay, I suppose you want me to tell you how to do one of them. Let's just do one right here. There's the stem. Lean it down, down from the round. Think about that now. Let's go right over to this one for a description. There's the round. That means I'm going to lean it down from that area. From down from the round, lean it towards the way it's growing. So I want to do it like that, so I'm going to lean it down from the round, lean it towards the way it's growing, kind of using the corner of the brush. And then you slide and twist. All right, here we go. See how easy that is? Piece of cake. Okay, on our flower, we're going to go with a petal brush. All right, let's get started on that. Let's start off, we want a light color, white, Yellow ochre, little touch of alizarin. And we got the color underneath there, so don't get it too dark. And let's start right up here. Now I'm going to be using the corner of the brush. Look at how I'm tipping it now. By using the corner, I get a nice, rounded, fluted look. Now watch, I'm going to put this one in here now. Curve it back down towards the stem. Let that ruffled edge show up there. Maybe I'll start here. Watch this. All I'm thinking about is the edge now. I can work this over down here. I'm looking at the edge and make sure I'm happy with it. Then once I'm happy with it, then I can just pull this together. Look at the nice flowing lines. Then let's do a little petal here. I call that the push-up stroke. I'm pushing paint off of the side of the brush. Let's go up here on our bud and let's put it in. Maybe you can see the other front of it or something. A little push off there. See how that paint comes off the back side of the brush? That's why it's important to load both sides of the brush. All right, let's start, let's start right here. Let's get a little more light right here. Now just pull these lines like this. And let's do that on this other one also. We want the light to be hitting right there pretty strong. Don't worry about that green. Now let's go back and do the back ones first on this one. I'll just use some of the same color, but a little bit lighter. And let's curl this petal underneath here. Let it disappear behind there. Now again, paint on the front side of it. Let it disappear down there. On this front one here now, I'm going to do it this way. This is a big iris. Let's go back on this other side. A little more lizard in it again. And create this one hanging down here. And then put the front side of it on. Okay, now let's, let's go right here on the front side of this one. See, I'm not holding the brush straight in, I'm tipping it a little bit. 
Now let's, all of a sudden this pedal bends over. I'll show you how to bend the pedal over. And again, you can come back in and hit it again if you didn't like it. Okay, let's get over on this other one. Be very simple, the same way now. I don't really have to describe it anymore. I can start on the front. I don't have to start on the, the back side. Let some of that green go through, come through there. That gives it a little more of a kind of a transparent look. This one here, I'm going to fold this pedal back over this way. Use my finger to soften it as it goes inside. Some of the back pedals here, I'm using a little more lizarin. This one should be just a little lighter. The other one's hid behind it. We don't have to worry about that one. Lots of white. Okay, here we go on this front one now. This is underneath there. Let's just leave it like that. Maybe we see the tip of it down there. Now we got, oops, load a little bit too much in. Maybe the light's hitting over here on this one a little bit. Punch it up just a dab. Okay, uh, next thing is, let me lighten this front up just a little bit more. Just by, I'll take pure white pretty much and then put it right on top of that color. And also, I could do is take a little of my darker color and put a line here and one here. Then I'm gonna watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the hake brush, and I'm gonna do a little. I'm gonna soften some of this. Now watch this. Soften these edges a little bit so it goes underneath there, curves down and around like that. Now one thing that is kind of predominant in iris is the. Uh, the veins, and so that'll be our next step. I can soften this down so it'll go down inside. Or I can soften the edge of the flower as it goes out into the background. Okay, the veins, they need to be just a little bit darker than the color that's there. So let's try with some of our base here. And let's start right up here. And as they come out, they kind of roll out like that, see? Let's do it on this one. Just have it just a little bit darker. Don't get carried away with the... Don't make it too dark. You don't want to just see all veins in the flower. And we're going to do our uh, we're going to do our uh, <clears throat> our beard in here next. If you don't like the one I'm going to put in here, you maybe you like the one I got. Okay, on our beard. Let's set this palette right here. Let's take a small, this is a small leaf brush. And let's go with the, it's Indian yellow. And a little touch of white. And let's put our beard right up here. Let's just kind of dab it in like that to begin with. Also over here. 
These other ones are, there's, you're not going to be able to see them ones over there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take a thin, just about every time I use the liner brush, I generally thin the paint down. It's Indian yellow and white. Get it nice and sharp. Let me show you a little trick how to sharpen it. It looks fairly blunt right now, but now what you can do is go take a piece of paper towel and pull it like this. Pull it right at the tip and you can get it nice and sharp and twist it, see? Just a little trick there for you. And then just flip these in there. It should be a little bit lighter. And of course, that's how they got the name Bearded Iris. Okay, now let's pull a few leaves over top. Back to our sable brush. There we go. It takes a lot of paint in the brush. So let's yellow ochre, and we use Prussian blue. Load lots of paint. And if you want a little bit lighter, just add a little white to it. Maybe these on the front could be just a little bit lighter. And let's, let's don't be afraid to pull something across the flower. Let's start right up here. Sharp. Now watch. I'm going to do this in slow for you. Now I'm going to start turning it. Look, I'm turning the brush, and I'm also pushing harder. You can take it right out of the picture if you like. Or you can start at the bottom. All right, let's uh, let's let's do one right over here. Let's not make things symmetrical. You got to think about it a little bit. Maybe I maybe I like this one so well that maybe I think it ought to be on the front. Look at I go right over top of it. And avoid having everything coming real to one point down here. Try to make it a little bit wider. In this case, and uh, again, let's take our liner brush and now let's put in some. Uh, some filler, some smaller ones. Go a few, put a few lines over the flower now, see? Don't be afraid to do that. I've added just a little more white with the, that green color. And also, let's go out and put a few on the outside of the flower. little pigtail in there. That kind of gives it a little flair. I've been holding a lot of classes throughout the United States, and I sure, I really appreciate your support. And uh, another thing is, without, uh, without our PBS stations, this wouldn't be possible, so I'm sure they're going to appreciate your support, and I, that would be my suggestion for this type of programs. We really, we really need your help. And this really is something for you. I mean, we're, we're taking a, a little bit of time and giving an our effort and showing you what you could do. It took me 30 years to get this point, but I'm trying to show you in 26 minutes how to, how to do it, or 27 minutes. And uh, Anyway, now let's let's go on some of these here little leaves now, and let's put the, or stems and put on some little some little tiny little leaves, and I'm going to lighten them up again. Maybe a phthalo green or a phthalo or Prussian blue and white, and there's a little yellow in there. If you wanted to make it more of a different green, you could add a little Indian yellow to it, and let's do some little things here. Little fillers. Are we having fun yet? Now you see, you, you notice the painting that you first seen on the program. It's not exactly like this because I didn't copy it exactly, and I don't want to be restricted to doing that.
because it ties me down and I don't have a nice flowing feel. But notice I'm picking up the background color and this kind of is blending right in. And that's nice. I could get just a little more height by bringing a few of the little ones right up here. To fill that void right there. Or maybe some comes behind this over here. Also, you could do them again without reloading to create more things. Don't be afraid to go out of the picture once in a while. Especially towards the center of your arrangement, you can pull a couple things that go out of the picture. It creates that nice round composition that we're that you're trying to achieve. Okay, let's. I'm going to go up here on this butt again and put a little more dark on this side right here. A little more Prussian blue in it. Widen the stem up just a little bit. Now you could add you could add more things to this, but now you notice it's getting kind of busy, and we won't do anything else. Maybe just a a quick signature will do it. Thin the paint down. Use some of the flower color to make it coordinate with your painting. <laughs> 